again and welcome to another 5-minute Fly the Wing in-flight maneuver video. This time, a quick demonstration in the airplane with private pilot student Dan. An example of why you can't trust your inner ear when you don't have visual sight of the horizon. Proof that as a VFR pilot, you should never fly into a cloud even for just a few seconds. Let's head out to the practice area in a Cessna 172 to see how quickly it all goes south. The rule of thumb is a VFR pilot gets into a cloud within 90 seconds. He's going to be out of control upside down. And we're not going to do anything unsafe or dangerous here, but I want to show you how that's going to happen. So you're going to lose your faculties here. So you're about 4,500. Yeah, that's good. Bring a little bit of power back. Just bring it about 22, 2300. Now, what I want you to do is keep doing this straight and level and close your eyes. You're okay. still flying the airplane. Okay. But just close your eyes. Try to just keep it straight and level. And this is why you can't depend on your senses in your inner ear. Cause okay, you, well, my you, eyes are closed. Yeah, keep your eyes closed. I'll tell you when to open them. All Don't I've got is the sound and... Uh, yeah, and you can't go by yeah. that because it's like it's changing, the wind is changing and all. It just And I'll just start a gentle turn to the right. Nothing extreme, just a gentle turn to the right. This is where you go home and just fast forward to this in the video. And it's, it's, would you assume it's less than 90 seconds? Oh, yeah. And I'm going all right, so open your eyes. Look outside. Pull the power to idle. Level the wings. You got into a steep spiral. We lost about 500 feet, and then we can resume cruise flight. You got into a steep spiral without even that trying. Was, that was not 60 seconds. No, not at all. Yeah. And the reason is because you can't trust your senses. What happened when you go back and watch the video, you'll see. I was telling you to do straight and level, and uh -huh. this, is, this is what you started doing immediately. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I said. Now do a gentle right turn. Okay, so then and then you started that. doing this, and you had a lot of power. All right. and what it ha what it, do you know what a spiral is, a graveyard spiral? So, okay, you got the airplane? Yeah, okay. just do this. And now I'm going to drop the nose, and you feel that tightening? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. There's your spiral. So the first thing you always do is level the wings before you start yanking back. you got to unload the wing. We have a lot of airspeed there. Unload the wing, bring the power back. Read more about the graveyard spiral and other vestibular illusions in the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Now, in case you accidentally get into a cloud, here's the turn that could save your life in just one minute. I think the only thing that comes out of this instrument thump that's really helpful is what I'm going to show you, uh, and I've probably done it before, but I'll show you again every time we're under the hood. If you inadvertently get into a cloud, First of all, if you see a cloud ahead, you got to avoid it. If there's no terrain, you can continue to go down and down and do what's called scud running until you hit a TV tower or something, and then your game is over, right? But I want to show you how in this airplane you can do what's called a time turn. So if you're in a cloud, it's very much like being under the hood like you are now. Let's say we're flying this heading, right? Right. And you inadvertently get into a cloud. All you need to do is a timed turn. This is standard rate. If you put the wing on one of these marks, it's going to be three degrees per second. You got to put it on the mark. If you undershoot it or overshoot it, do your, we set the bug or, uh... your mileage may vary. Well, we're going to do that in a second. When this second hand gets down to the 30, down to six, you're going to uh -huh. start your turn. So yeah, would you agree that would be 180 degrees? I right? would. Yeah. All right. So you got it under control. We're staying at this altitude. When the second hand gets to there, just make a turn to the left. Okay. There you go, right and put it right here. Just yeah. hold it there. You gotta hold right. it there. Standard rate turn for one minute. Okay. Keep the ball centered. Don't climb, you're climbing. Okay. You're just you're inadvertently pulling back on the yoke. Okay. Just keep it right there on the mark. Okay. Standard rate. If you do more than standard rate, it's gonna take less than a minute. If right. you do less, it's gonna take more than so yeah, just kinda average that. Just kinda okay. play with it a little bit there. That's about 30 seconds. It's a little more than standard rate. Okay. Keep it coming for another 10 seconds. This thing's off a little bit, but it's going to be pretty darn close, right? You got five. Yeah, I went past it. I can have a little too There's deep. 30 right there. Yeah. So, well, you're within 20 degrees, 20, okay. 25 degrees of it. You just did a 180 out of a cloud, and you're going to live to fly another day. Yeah. Because now you're heading out of it, and the, and the rule is if you get into a cloud, go back to where there was no cloud. 
VMC into IMC continues to kill dozens of pilots each year with a fatality rate of four times that of other general aviation accidents. Read more about avoiding getting into IMC when you're on a VFR flight and what to do if you do inadvertently get into a cloud in the FAA's Airplane Flying Handbook. Fly safely and fly often and I'll see you next time for another 5-minute Fly the Wing in-flight maneuver video.